Gentlemen, I'd like to call the November Steering Legislative and Governmental Committee meeting to order. First item of business is to approve the minutes from our last meeting. I'll call on Vice Chairman and Commissioner Gooch. A motion to approve, Mr. Chair. A motion. Do we have a second? Second. Motion and a second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Good. I was worried about that one. Next, we need to, uh, on the agenda, it says to fill a citizen at large vacancy on the audit committee. We have not received any applications for that vacancy. So, um, obviously, people can still apply even up to the commission meeting. Oh. I don't know. I, I apologize. You turned it into my office about a month ago, I believe. What was my. We'll put this on, just go on to your next agenda. I'll go around and call Vicky. Okay. Time <laughs> <laughs> out. Time out. All right, we'll move on, then we'll come back. Next, we need to announce a vacancy on the school board to fill the unexpired term of Tim Tackett. That term is set to expire August of 2014. Well, while you're on that, oh, I'd like to kind of discuss how, how the commission may do that. Uh, I think Commissioner Jordan had actually spoken about it, I think, last month, but as far as having some kind of, this is an important position. And I think that uh, we need to have some kind of discussion on how we need to set this up and maybe the full county commission and it should be some kind of interview process or something. I just want to get everybody's thoughts on how y'all would think we ought to do this. Commissioner Farley, would could, could we wait till the mayor gets back? Because if, yeah. because if there is a call meeting, he's got to call. Right. Okay. Well, I don't know whether it's going to be one or not. I'm not even suggesting that. I'm just saying that right. I know this has been a subject for some discussion. Let's wait till he gets back. Are you, hey, that, 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 all right. Are, yeah. you, are you suggesting, uh, Commissioner Farley, that, that uh, this this committee here be the one that does the interview? Uh, how, how are you? What, how, what direction you want to go? I'm thinking that my personal opinion, the whole county commission will be the one have input into it and interviewing. This this body here is, I think, set up for a reason, in my opinion. Uh, uh, I think we uh, we should continue doing the way we've always did on any any position. That's just my opinion. Well, what's the current uh, process now? Yeah, you know, just we never had this situation. There's really not one. I believe, and Commissioner Jordan, I think, has looked into it a little bit more than maybe I have, that TCA basically says it is the vacancy is to be filled by the county legislative body. There's no process. I know back when um, when we filled, uh, was it Jimmy Woods? Is, it, it voted for him. for yeah. to, what, Who was that there? That was, uh, Steve, uh, Steve, uh, John. Steve John. Steve John. It, I think it went through the, this kind of a process, um, going to the commi steering committee first, and then to the county commission. And, and applicants had applied. Yeah. If I, if I recall, that was the process. I was thinking that. that's what what happened. I'm, I, well, I'm doing, I'm just throwing it out on the table that, <coughs> that, that, for discussion yeah. on how we need to proceed. I mean, because it's an important. I mean, a lot of people on this commission hadn't done it before. And just wanted to throw it out there and have some discussion yeah. about it. You know, <coughs> Commissioner Jack, uh, Black, I wasn't saying that you didn't know what you're doing or nothing like that. Uh, all I'm saying is there needs to be some discussion about it and how we need to proceed. Yeah, it's, a, it's an important position, but we really can't change the rules in the middle of the game. There's no rules. Because I'm concerned about if we've done something like this in the past, we may need to let our attorney. Jim Cope looking at whatever we set up because if we start specifying a specific way, even though it's an important position, don't get me wrong, it's an important position, but other positions, we have done things up here. So therefore, what is going to segregate this position from the other position? I did talk to uh, County Attorney Mr. Cope and uh, I guess I, I should have asked him to be here. I did not ask him to come because he said he basically alluded to me, and I hope I'm not. I hope I'm saying the, the right thing. Is there's no precedent for this, and so you could essentially have your own process just for this, 
or you could follow your process for the others. He did not feel that we had to follow that process because this was a vacancy for a school board and it doesn't fall under our regular appointment. This is an elected position that we're filling, um, you know, as required by law. So. Well, we're wanting to fill this vacancy next month for sure, right? I mean, we're, we're announcing it right now, so applicants that live are interested and live in districts 14, 19, and 20, anyone in those three districts right there that is interested in being a school board member uh, need to apply. Right. And I think so, that's the point for us announcing yeah. it and then announcing it again at the commission meeting to make sure right. that it's out there. Um, <clears throat> you know, my personal feelings, uh, I, I kind of go, I could go both ways. Um, but we have a process. It works for everything else that we do. However, it's also an elected position, and one, I don't know if just seven of us could cull through. We could get, who knows what we'll get. We could get 10 really great applicants um, that we could go through the whole process, and then if we follow this process on the commission floor, somebody else could bring up somebody sure. that we didn't vote through. Sure. And, and two, sure. and how do we know, because I know Commissioner Gooch is one of the districts, his district, how do we know that Who's, who's, who's District 14? Bomb. 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 So we got Commissioner Bomb's district and we got uh, Commissioner Ely's district mm -hmm. that those two commissioners <coughs> may not you know, have any input on it mm -hmm. if it was a seven member steering committee. I'm, I'm just throwing this out for consideration mm -hmm. and discussion because uh, we're all up here elected. And, uh, well, like Commissioner Cotton said, I mean, um, when if we take if we do that process here on steering like I think we should um, once we get to full commission there, there's always the possibility of somebody bringing somebody else up on the floor and going forth that way that that's that's the case in any case whatever comes from this committee somebody else can be brought <coughs> back up on the floor in full commission and it's been so, done in the past sure that sure. way I mean they, sure <coughs> I'm sure the applicants will more than likely call the other commissioners well, and uh, whether it be uh, Commissioner Gooch or uh, Commissioner Ely or uh, whoever <coughs> is the district that it's in. They, we uh, could. they have that opportunity to get up on the floor and, sure. and suggest, you know. Uh, or anybody else, really. Absolutely. absolutely. But uh, we couldn't set any uh, <coughs> requirements or restrictions or anything that the election commission don't already set right. for this position. I right. mean, it can't be more restrictive or uh, or less restrictive. I mean, the, the only thing I don't know that I could find beneficial for this position is if if we could provide a a deadline for applications to be submitted. That would be different from what we currently do. Does that make sense? Whereas, so that no one could bring up uh, an application at the commission meeting or even, you know what I'm saying, so that we have a chance to really look at these. Um, that's, just a, that's just a thought. I don't know if that's necessary or what we need to do. Can we come back to this under new business? We can. That's acceptable to everyone. As long as it's okay with Commissioner Black, he seems to be a little worried about well, it. Well, you the same one, uh, Commissioner Farley, you the one who brought it up. <coughs> you want to talk about it. I, was I think just we already. All I wanted, Commissioner Black, was a discussion <coughs> on this deal tonight, and that's all I was talking about. Okay. All right. We will go back to uh, on your agenda is what's listed as uh, number one, fill citizen at large position on the audit committee to fill the unexpired term of uh, Mr. David Nipper. Um, <clears throat> this term is set to expire uh, September 2014. We did find one application that we received August 16th, and I'll pass it around um, by uh, Ms. Teresa McKee. While I'm passing this around, Ms. McKee, would you care to address the committee? you guys let me have the opportunity to apply for the position um, and I hope that you consider me and I'm very excited. Any 
any questions or comments from Ms. McKee? see any and give a chance for that to get around. And this position expires September 2014. So Mr. Chairman, if you're ready, I'll make a motion. We have one applicant I'll make a motion. We'll approve this out. Second. second. Motion and a second. Any other discussion on the motion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Congratulations. <laughs> <coughs> Mr. Chairman, I, wish I, I will. You made the statement at the very beginning that they can apply, uh, submit applications even up until your commission meeting. There was one other person that wanted to be an applicant. He did not finish getting final approval from his uh, company to allow him to do it. So you may have another applicant. I don't know that that will actually even happen. He may not get approval, but at least there's one considering this. I think it was up to our, this meeting, not the commission meeting. Yes. I, I think it's commission meeting. I think it's all the way. I, I think it's flexible. Uh, Number three, we need to announce four vacancies on the Agricultural Advisory Board. Um, it's Whitworth, the farm woman position, Brandon Witt, farmer position, and two commissioners, Robert P. and Will Jordan. Next, we announce two vacancies on the Correctional Work Center Board, Robert Asbury and Francis Mosby. We also need to announce a uh, vacancy on the Limeball Library Board. This vacancy must be uh, filled by a resident from Smyrna who is a male. There you go. And it's, it expires June of 2015 uh, from Richard Garvin, Jr. All right, going back to... Um, the under any other business going back to the school board uh, vacancy in that discussion. Any other discussion on that? Well, I think it ought to be a special call meeting um, for all the county commissioners that whenever we if we if we have it coming from here to them, I think it needs to be a special call meeting for any of them that apply to be able to be interviewed because it may be 10 people to apply. We don't know yet. That'll give, that, that'll give ample amount of time to, for the full county commission to ask any question they want to with any applicant. That's, that's just a thought I've got. So would it be considered a full commission meeting? Is that what you... It would probably have to be if all 21 <clears throat> commissioners were. Right. So now we're talking about Three hundred dollars. We're looking at money, <clears throat> and uh, how much it's going to cost to have them other ones come in on it. In my opinion, I think this is why this body is set up. The structure of steering. They'll have their chance when we get to the full commission floor. That's, that's my opinion. I guess it should be yours. <laughs> well, Mr. <clears throat> Black, it's not my opinion. It may be yours, but it's not my opinion. I got another question. <clears throat> yes, sir. Now, if folks some unforeseeable reason the school board meet and send over a recommendation. Then what do we do? I don't think they can do that. Why not? Well, I don't <laughs> think they're tasked with the charge of filling the position. I'm not. I don't know if they would. Mr. Jordan's shaking his head. He well, I, I just, more, I, but I'm not really. That. I'm not really disagreeing with him. His question was, was what if they do? And, and that, yeah. hey, that's a fair question. Uh, I do not think that's going to happen at all. But what if they do? We do have a school board member here who's raising his hand frantically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe in the corner of my eye. I guess that's what uh -oh. made me Don't ask do the that, question. David. <laughs> if I'm allowed to speak, uh, we have no plans to do that. Okay. We we would like to be the ones that vote for. I mean, to select it, but we have no plans to intervene or. Or uh, do anything like that. I think well, there's there's room. I'm sorry, Mr. Mayor. Go ahead, because I know you've been in touch with the county attorney. Requires the authority is given to the local board of commissioners to to make the appointment. So I mean that's that's the only group that can make that decision. Mayor uh, Commissioner Gooch, while you was out a second, made a, a comment that I think is correct. 
um, I agree with him that whenever Jimmy Woods replaced a county commissioner on the 1911th district, I believe, Mr. Johns, I believe it came through the steering committee and then went to the full commission with a recommendation. And then the full commission voted on that person and put, put Mr. Woods in for the remainder of the time. That's the only thing I can think of in 24 years that's come even close to this or somewhat similar to this right here. And I believe we went through steering on it and sent the recommendation to full commission. Is this the way it's set up, what, what we're there, going to do this time? or the state statute gives no process. It's not defined at all how you do this. It just says it's the, uh, what does it say, vacancies occurring on the board shall be filled by the local legislative body. Okay. That's about all you're going to get out of the statute, and it's up to you commissioners to decide what the process is. I remember, and you should, because it, it was part of your district years ago. You remember when uh, Gary Patton, we put Gary Patton on there, when uh, Fred Hobbs. Fred Hobbs. Right. Um, and I'm going off memory, and it seems like to me that the full county commission interviewed Mr. Patton and um, the other gentleman later, he, his name, I know him, he lives out there off of Veterans Parkway. It's uh, escaping me right now. But the full county commission actually interviewed him uh, during that process. Um, Mr. Fisher. Mr. Fisher, that's right. Yeah. So, um, and if, if I could add something here, uh, uh, it, has also, it has happened since then, too, uh, when Mr. Wise was appointed. Right. right. And uh, I did talk with, uh, with, uh, Called him Coach Wise because he and I coach together. But uh, I, I did talk with Mr. Wise uh, briefly about ten days ago after we got that email that the legislative body would decide. And uh, he he said as best as he remembered, he turned in uh, an application along with the uh, present mayor of Laverne, mostly. I think they were the, the only two. He, he said and. Uh, he didn't. He did not appear before this committee, and he did not appear before the county commission. Hmm. He said he went, and she went, and they were available for questions. This is the way he remembered it. Okay. Passing along to you, mm -hmm. he said he after he was elected, he did speak to the, in front of the county commission. Mm -hmm. So I think this just kind of backs up what at least three of you have said now, and that is. That there are not any rules. <laughs> the county commission is going to have a final say, mm -hmm. regardless, and that's the way it is. Now, I, I have a Gary. I, I'm not. I, I don't believe that I agree 100 percent what you said. I, I and I'm going to tell you why. Okay. Because I've been under the influence of Mr. Steve Sandler, who Boy. who who, <laughs> said, who said about a year ago where he's sitting right now. That uh, when I think I made some sort of comment that we'll just send it to the full county commission, and and you said probably what I was you didn't really say agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> that, that we were sent up here mm -hmm. to do that very thing, yeah. and uh, I, I I kind of tend to think about that. However, we could have as somebody said ten great applicants. Mm -hmm. So I, I and since Commissioner Black. We could have those same ten applicants, no matter what we do. You know, so the, the, they could be nominated from the floor. Yeah, so, that, so sure. you know, yeah, it, it's going to happen that way. Could happen that way anyway. What What I'm going to suggest, I, I'm not going to put a motion right now, but I, I, I'll come back to it and do it if you want me to. I'm going to suggest that uh, at our next, we take applications up to our next steering meeting mm -hmm. through this committee, just like just like we normally do. And, and I, I, I do think. We might be challenging. Well, if if we go any way other than what we have always done in committee and board commission, if we deviate from that and go forty five days, say, or ten days, yeah. or whatever, yeah. I, I think we're asking for trouble. Yeah, yeah. Let's just take applications thirty days like we normally do. I'm not through, Mr. McAdoo, but go ahead and comment on that if you want to. I want to, <laughs> I, I I I want to comment on that one hundred percent. That's what I was trying to <laughs> refer to earlier. 
you know, the legality or maybe the, the change in the plan of the way we've done it in the past because I don't know for some reason the last year every time we look around somebody wants to hit, hit us with a lawsuit. I don't want to wake up one morning and somebody come to my door bringing me the papers, you know. So if we going to make any changes or, or whatnot, it probably should be done and recommended to the full commission and go through the whole normal process of making the changes even before we come around to this. Uh, I agree with my commissioner over here that I just don't like uh, making these changes when we've had examples in the past. You know, we've, we've been through this in the past. And the way we've done it in the past. It's been different. It had, every time. It, it hadn't it's really been. changed, per se, as far as having a special call meeting and all this, and interviewing the, the applicants and everything like that. That's the only thing I would feel uncomfortable with, is making that change. I would myself. I like to follow coming before the steering committee, interviewing the applicants, going on to the full commission. And that way, we followed a, a, a straightforward plan that we've always done. And at least send a recommendation mm -hmm. to That's the full right. commission. That's yeah. right. I'm getting no matter what happens I'm on the floor. I'm getting that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I, was, I was going to carry it on, and I, <laughs> I appreciate that. Those comments from our most experienced commissioner here. Uh, maybe we might want to consider uh, if, by the way, if we're going to have a special call meeting, it probably ought to be a steering between the fourth That's true. and the commission meeting if we get a number of applicants. Right. Yeah. And um, but anyway, I was I was going to say that that uh, I was considering a motion, and I, you know I'll make it later maybe, but uh, one of you can make it that we recommend to the county commission three or fewer candidates that we think would be would do a fine job and then if we have ten we can cut it down to three right here we may only have three and recommend all three of them we can interview them right here which brings me to something else a couple of you have already already said we're really taking the place the seven of us and the 21 of us we're taking the place of a few thousand voters here and we're doing their job for them for at least a year. And this is a position that we can't come back and say, no, you did a terrible job, we're removing you. Yeah. We can't do that. The voters will get that opportunity, maybe or maybe not, if right. the person runs next August. So and I, they won't be reapplying through us. And I've got questions of this person or people, and I would imagine so have y'all. I, I, and I, I can't imagine, I might do it, I, I guess. You never say never in, in this kind of situation. But if a person doesn't appear before us in this room, if, if, we, if we choose to do it this mm -hmm. way, yeah. and, and is available for questions, I doubt seriously if I'm going to vote for them. Because i got questions. And that this is a $300 million budget. And they're going to have at least one vote on that. It's a very important position. That's why. I'm yes, sir. And another thing we need to look at, too, which has been done in the past, is that what if a Mr. Tackett come up here and recommend someone mm -hmm. to serve his position? Now, that has been done in the past. Mm -hmm. Now, what if he do that? Then how much weight is he going to carry when he went out there and won that election? Good point. Well, that is a good point. I love Tim Tackett, but that's, that's not going to carry any weight with me any more than anybody else asking me to please vote for so-and-so. He's a wonderful fellow. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's, that's our job. And, and, and that's why we got questions. And, and nothing against Tim Tackett. Oh, no. I, uh, but the thing about him, so he decided not to step down. Right. So, you know, it's, it's, it's not really his call. I mean, he has his opinion. One thing did come up this week and I wanted to ask the mayor I don't know if he's heard anything or not but the county attorney call you back on the on the zone lines or anything yes and and the, the, the problem that I brought up to the mayor and, he, and I don't know if he's he's going to tell us here in a minute but the person well no well, you got to speak first anyway. <laughs> is, is it uh, is it the zone lines as drawn now 
as drawn now. It's got to be, doesn't it? It's not the new redistricting zone lines. Right. The person who okay. has to currently reside in the district as it's currently right. drawn. And the reason so, I bring that up is uh, the old district. So what if? Well, I, you're right. A person that is going to be in the zone in August of 2014, but is not in it now, cannot apply. That's right. I have no idea who that might apply to, if anybody. But we got three, and Commissioner Sandlin, you remember very well, because some of them, Miss Ely's changed a lot. Mm -hmm. So this could apply to quite a few people. But if they're in it now, as drawn today, mm -hmm. then they can apply. But, and this is important also, what if they don't, are not in it after August? Then they can't run. So the, and I'm just saying that I, that's, not our, that's not our problem. That's not our problem. Yeah. But we need yeah. to tell the applicant yeah. that. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, and I don't know if that apply to anybody. Yeah, I have no idea. But when you're fulfilling the expired term or the term remaining, then right. that's that's the. I was thinking that anyway that mm -hmm. it would be the, the old district lines because that's what you're fulfilling. Right. Not the new at all. So. Yeah. Well, then maybe we should run this in the paper or something and explain those qualifications. Well, you're announcing the vacancy right now. You can explain that and uh, it'll be in our minutes and we can, uh, well, I'll take every opportunity we have to make that point. And, and going back with the applications, we'll, uh, we're more than likely people that's interested in, we're going to be getting the applications between now and the next meeting. Mm -hmm. we we'll have a lot of time to look at them right and uh, i mean with it theoretically we should should yeah well, so, uh, should, i don't should see we nobody know? coming up and put one in that day they could they yeah. have sure. should. right but should we not get those applications as soon as they come in that way that we would have time instead of waiting i would like that very yeah. much yeah we can send you all the applications and as we get applications we will check their residency and see if they are in the proper have we had any yet, Mr. Mayor, that yes, formally turned in? There's one formally turned in. Okay, don't, I don't, I'm not, I don't care who it is. I don't, know, don't want to know who it is. But okay, I got one in, so we can appoint that person right now tonight if you want. No, let's not do that. <laughs> <laughs> Since we don't know who they are, we better not do it. Well, I got, another, I got another question. Should we send these applications over to the election, election commission to see if they yeah, meet, they qualify? That's what, yeah, that's what yeah, I was fixing to say. That didn't do the qualifications as yeah. far as. Yes, but and then use, come back to yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, let me make a formal motion then, and then you all just tear it to pieces. <laughs> uh, and that'd be fine with me. I'm willing to do what, anything that's, that's, that's just fair and equitable and mm. where the public knows. Um, I make a motion that we um, that we well we, we're going to have an we're going to have an interview excuse me we're going to have an application process that's that's automatic right that doesn't have to be part of my motion so then on December fourth we we interview whatever applicants we have and if we have to have a call meeting if we get fifteen twenty people and and we have to do that well this motion is getting long isn't it <laughs> I guess we can decide that that night. Um, <clears throat> We eventually recommend to the county commission three or fewer candidates on December 14th, I guess it is. Is that, I'm not getting immediate seconds, so evidently y'all are fixing to tear me to pieces. That's okay. <laughs> I've been there before. I'm a former school teacher. I know all about abuse. Could you repeat the most? <laughs> <laughs> no, but Becky can. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the committee will take applications, and on December 4th, uh, they will, the committee will interview applicants, or they will have a special called meeting if needed to recommend three or less candidates to the commission on December 14th. Well, you took care of one of my questions, uh, and I'll second it for discussion. Will three get it, do you think? Well, you or? said three or fewer, so I, I'll... We might just personally, send one. Personally, I'm or thinking two. send one, well, you know, and, and then... If whatever comes from the floor, there may be right. another one pop up or two or three or whatever, and you got to vote on one on the full commission level. But I think from this committee, you took care of it. There's three or fewer, so if one is fewer. <laughs> if, we can, if we can get to there, I'd like to get to there. I'd like to send a recommendation to the
to the full commission, and that a recommendation would be one person. I, I, I think I think you're right. I think the motion's okay yeah, as far as that sure, goes. Sure, Because we can do one right. if we want to. Right. It, it could be that, that two or three may think that there may be another person besides that one. You know. I understand. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. There's too many oars in there. I think that's Becky's fault. <laughs> you say, rest that again. Well, is December fourth the right date? Is that the next? I believe date? it's the second. Come think of it. I'm sorry, sorry, Becky. You gave me the look, didn't you? No. <laughs> I, I think I it is. It I is the second. I think it's the second. Yeah. Okay. The committee will take applications, and uh, will interview candidates, applicants on December second. Uh, or we'll have a special called meeting if needed. Or we'll have a special call. You've got two things going on. Right, I think see, the motion we'll needs to be clear on if which ones it is. If needed. Well, now, well, if needed. Let's don't. Yeah, yeah. Don't do the if needed. Yeah. We'll do that if we need. I think it. you. I think your motion needs to say one or the other. All right. Let's just say December second. Then. Yeah, you can always yeah. say and December second. If we, have second, to, if we yeah. got to, we can continue that meeting. Sure. That's fine. We yeah. can always do that. All right. That's correct. You're exactly right. Again. Okay, steering committee will take applications and at their regularly scheduled meeting on December 2, we'll interview applicants to make a recommendation of three or less candidates at the December 14 commission. That's my motion. No okay, you, okay you're, you're in favor of taking possibly the top three. Yes, sir. Or and the second is one the top one. Well, he said three or less. Three or fewer. Three I know, or but if your if your if your opinion is just to take one, I, I can I don't I don't want any arguments next week on what well, did we say three? Did we say one? Or we say no, two? it's three, three or less. So you'll be so okay I'm, I'm if we it. choose yeah, three to see. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Well, one thing about that though, I mean, and Mayor, in doing this, um, the requirements for it. It, it's strictly going to be from the election commission where the requirements for is running for school yeah. board. Right. They're going, okay. they going to look at it first. Uh, look at it from a residency yeah. viewpoint. And, okay. And, uh, Would they have to get the signatures and everything just like just like they were running? No. 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 Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. How no. okay. about background checks? It's not even a background check no. required when you well, run. Why wouldn't you run? Or any collective office that I'm aware of. It'll be from no, scene it's scene. It's it's need to be <laughs> <laughs> There's no requirement. There's no requirement. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. We don't want to get into anything that that's not required. They will right. check the residency and, and yeah. the location and all of that, and yeah. then That'd see if that fine. fits within the current uh, definition of Zone Seven, and they will give you a report on that. So you'll have that as your. Uh, input when you start your deliberation just for inf information purposes the new zone what districts is it that well, the, the new is still um, I have to start over 14 19 and 20 so that so, did commission it that hasn't changed okay. but the boundaries but of the 14, boundaries 19, changed. And 20 yeah. have changed yes okay but we're <coughs> working within the same three districts Right. The boundaries as they currently exist. I know, and all that discussion prior to the, some of the, they were talking about wanting to change some of the school board districts and all that. Just wanted to get clear in my mind. Yeah. Right. That that school board is the same three board uh, commissioner districts. Okay. Can we? I don't want to be overkill, but I think it's cautious to have some sort of letter note from the election office commission office saying that they meet residency requirement that, that's exactly just so we can have it with their application because mm -hmm. the last yep. thing i'd want us to do is pick somebody that lives one street over right, right. <laughs> we'll have that but if we can have some second. Okay. thank so you sir for all the applicants that have submitted sure. good. we have a motion and a second any other discussion on the motion Any other discussion? Seeing none. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none. Let me ask one other question that the, the mayor late. mayor brought up under item one right there under the audit committee. There was an applicant that was applying but hasn't applied before this meeting. Tell me again our rule on that. Is that before? I think we we'll we went through this whole dis discussion yeah, before. I think. And I'm fuzzy about that. I was thinking it was I think before this meeting. Attorney that will clarify that for us. Okay. 
I may have misspoken, but I believe it's you can accept an application uh, until, until the, the time of your meeting. commission meeting. Right. And, and and this will be the same way. Is that is that what I'm hearing correctly? Yeah, we follow our same procedures. Okay. I, I, the way I recall it, Mr. Mayor, is that up until this meeting, they could put in an application. That's what I was thinking. But but from the floor, yeah. someone could make a motion, but they couldn't come up and put in an application right. and oh, be automatically right. considered. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. They could be nominated from they the floor. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Which that's always the case. That's yeah, always I think the case. That's probably yeah. correct. Um, okay. I just didn't want to mis mislead this lady, and and filing properly and getting in the time frame, and then all of a sudden she's in the position, and then come full commission she's not in that position. But uh, it, that's always the case on the floor. Anybody else can be brought up. So, but okay, okay. If if we have a large number of applicants uh, for this school board position, I have no idea how many we're going to have. Uh, but. Hundreds, thousands. I mean, you know, about anything, 20 or less is within, um, I guess, reason. No. Uh, my, my question is a serious one. I don't believe we can interview that many people. So I, 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 that night, one night, I don't, I don't, and do a good job. Uh, I, I, I would think 10 might be tough, but certainly more than that would be tough. And I would just, if we come up with that meeting, I'd like to be able to notify them that we're going to have another meeting at some point before the commission meeting and do, say, half of it. We well, I think, I think that's something. That I, Commissioner, I think that's something that we have to decide yeah, on, on that, that night, night that everybody, right. if you had a thousand people say, then they're all going to probably be here, or they all have to be here. Well, I hate night. for them to come down here and not, we're not going to interview them that night. Well, and then whatever we get through, then we, hey, we're going to have to continue this. Or, okay. Yeah. I'm all right with if, that. If, if, if each one of us have asked a number of questions, I mean, we may not get maybe three or four that Well, night. that's correct. <laughs> you know. That's right. Well, we can always continue it that night and be legally correct. What do you mean continue with that night? You mean In other words, if, uh, say for an example, if the meeting is going on to 12 and 1 and we make a motion from the floor to continue it a, a next day or later date, we can do that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Any other business? We are adjourned.